The diagram shows the images of points P and Q under a dilation with center O and scale factor 2. Determine whether each statement is true or false. The length of Q prime P prime is 10 units. That is this one here. Remember the original is 6 units and the scale factor is 2. So is that true or false? The measurement of angle OQP. OQP is this one here is equal to OQ prime P prime. Is that true or false? The length of OQ is, or sorry, OQ prime is twice the length of OQ, or the length of OP prime is 10 units, this distance here. Indicate which ones are true and which ones are false. Use any tool to draw and label the image of triangle ABC under a dilation with center O and a scale factor of 7 thirds. So we can extend the lines through the, vector, or through the center of dilation and then we can use that scale factor of 7 thirds. Remember we talked about using the lines as a guide to help us with our scale factor. So this C is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 away from O. So 6 times 7 thirds. Well, 6 times 7 is 42 over 3, which is 14. So we're going to place C 14 lines down the way. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and on that pink line. So this is where C prime will go. B is 1, 2, 3 lines from O. 3 times 7 is 21, divided by 3 is 7, so it needs to be 7 lines down. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven for B prime. And A is four, no, also three lines from there. So it is also going to be seven lines away. So this is three, four, five, six, seven. And then we need to connect them using a straight edge. Plot and label the image of point D under a dilation with center O and scale factor 4. So again, we can draw the line through O and the figure we're trying to dilate. This is a distance of three. So if we were scaling it by four, three times four is now a distance of 12 from O. So three, six, nine, 12, and label it with D prime. Plot and label the image of the dilation under a scale factor of one third. So this distance from O to G is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times one third, that'd be six over three or two. So it is two from O and label it with G prime. From here, draw that scale or that line from O. B is one, two, three lines away from O. Three times seven is 21. Remember, there's an invisible one down here, so one times three is three. Three goes into 21, seven times. So we have one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7. And this should be B prime. We can use the scale factor that we see here. This was originally 3, and this new distance is 7. So we know that the scale factor in this is 7 thirds. B is also 3 away from O. So if we continue, 4, 5, 6, 7, it should end up here. We saw in a previous lesson that when you dilate, a line segment, it is parallel to the original. And we talked about how these angles are the same because now we have corresponding angles from two parallel lines being cut by that transversal. So there are some properties of dilations that we see here on the grid as well. Dilating the segment, we get parallel segments. By using that scale factor, we can use that idea of the lined paper on the grid to help us find out where the new coordinate should be. So by connecting the lines through here, we can also think of it as dilating these by the scale factor of 7 thirds instead of counting along the line like we did in the original diagram um, back in problem at the beginning of the lesson, we can also think of it as these being horizontal or vertical lines. So we can think of C is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 away. And so 6 times 7 thirds would be 14. So here we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And where this line crosses is C prime. Then we have B, we can think of it as going a vertical distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So again, 6 times 7 thirds is also 14. So we would have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and if we continue over, B prime should be around here. And then for A, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which would be 21. So that would be 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And it crosses in this location. I'm going to re-examine my line here for B. It should be slightly to the left here. Let's redraw it. and then connect them using a straight edge. And then we can see that these lines here are parallel, BC and BC prime, AB and AB prime, AC and AC prime. This time we are dilating from O using a scale factor of one half. So O is our center of dilation. F is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve from O. And half of twelve is six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This should be the location of F prime. X is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Half of 10 is 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. X prime should be here. Then draw to connect them.
Make sure your warm-up is finished and your workbook is filled in for this lesson.